everybody, welcome back to another episode of Lives of Day Honor Survival. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we have been revenge raided. We got a raid in our future. The abandoned house is about to reset. And on top of it all, boom, the mini Uzi slash Uzi has officially been announced over here. As you guys can see with the post, good thing zombies don't wear bulletproof vests. A new weapon is to be added to Last Day Honor. The globally recognized submachine gun mini Uzi will soon become your trusted companion in the battle for survival a high rate of fire along with numerous modifications can turn this little fella into an ultimate zombie punisher and what you guys are seeing here is an image one of the what appears to be stock uzi the default uzi what it will be initially found as and then at the bottom what appears to be a very fully modded uzi and from what we can tell it appears that it is going to be a five mod type of weapon you guys can see that the stock changes a new scope goes on the gun what appears to be a silencer goes on the barrel of the gun so there's going to be barrel modifications it appears that you can kind of change the foregrip slash receiver a little bit and the magazine it does change making those five categories that we are seeing that will be changing and does appear to be what is a weapons update in the making because in the last winter update teaser we did actually see two new weapons as well and now on top of it we're seeing the brand new uzi it appears that something good is a cooking and i cannot wait for that but again the focus to Day is on this bad boy and from what they are saying if this is similar to how we have seen some machine guns in other last day on earth style games such as Jurassic survival specifically had multiple different submachine guns they did have very high rates of fire like compared to our weapons like our pistol is like around four these things had a rate of fire of around like 10 and even higher like I think the highest went all the way up to 20 or something but their damage was a little bit on the lower side so it's gonna be interesting to see how this is incorporated especially with the whole recoil mechanics and hopefully some of these attachments will be able to kind of dissipate that recoil quite a little bit because with the high rate of fire we might need to encounter those misses happening a little bit more often but we got to go and see how that plays out but nonetheless very awesome to see the mini uzi officially getting announced and has me excited for that potential weapons update in the future and what appears to be many weapons are cooking within so go ahead and let me know what you guys think regarding the uzi in that comment section down below i'd absolutely love to hear your guys' thoughts around it when you think it will be added how you think will be able to acquire it how hard or like how good of a weapon will it be do you think it's gonna be a little bit on more of the starter side potentially because i don't know maybe because of that high rate of fire it's gonna be like a very high skill weapon because you can't just hold down the trigger with it since you know you're not doing as much damage per shot and that recoil might kick in a little bit earlier but nonetheless very awesome to see such variety being incorporated in the last day on earth and i am definitely looking forward to getting our hands on this try it out and seeing what type of damage we could do and especially being able to get it to its fully modded form because that fully modded form dude that looks like a completely different weapon i gotta admit that thing is looking absolutely dope but here we are coming up on today's revenge raid and then after this raid we are going to be heading over to the abandoned house as well making today quite the action-packed type of adventure but like i said go and let me know what y'all think about the mini uzi in that comment section down below and remind us that comments but you're one third of the way it's the way to have that at two such place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure to like button make sure to subscribe that will ensure you went on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter it on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and zet will be widow for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell hit lads and lassies and ow okay accidentally hit ourselves on those spikes let's go ahead and go knocking up into here where it does appear we might have a bit of a formidable base awaiting us and ooh la la there actually are quite a few different chests here so we are gonna have quite a lot of stuff to break into which always makes for an awesome day but speaking of making for an awesome day today if you guys didn't catch the video we uploaded a little bit earlier the 600,000 subscriber special make sure ooh la la new set of SWAT armor make sure you guys go ahead and give that bad boy a watch or if you don't want to let me just spoil one huge announcement that we had and that is the brand new merch that has officially launched and dropped today i have spent months working on this with some super talented professional designers we've gone through multiple iterations of the designs to knock it down nail it perfectly and 
I think that they turned out awesome. So go ahead. There's going to be a link in the pinned comment and also in that description for y'all to go ahead and check it out if you haven't already. Because let's freaking go. This trunk is loaded to the brim with mighty fine weaponry. Might I add? I like what I see, but yeah, that merch was launched, so go ahead, and I seen some people asking about it, because our old merch store actually went down, and this is like, honestly guys, this is like 10 tiers above our last merch store. This type of merch just, I don't know man, having a professional designer work on it, it seriously shows and shines through, and some of the designs are super cool. I think you guys are going to love them, so I just want to make sure that you guys didn't know about that, and on top of that, we also did launch our very own coffee and star snack shotgun rain slash copy themed mugs in collaboration with gamer grind that is talked about a little bit more in that video as well if you guys want to go more in depth but there will also be links to go and get your hands on some of that jazz and you guys can use code star snipe to actually go ahead and get five percent off your order and uh, let me just say the reason that i really love doing this and i it was just awesome being able to work together with a coffee company to create our own coffee with a variety of different different cultivars and strains of bean not beans yeah coffee beans mixed up in this calculated manner to make for this amazing blend i got my first shipment in already planning on making my very first coffee with and let me just say the smell alone oh baby it smells primo and i'm dude it's awesome because i actually have this like cold brew coffee machine because i drink a lot of coffee guys i that i don't i'm not sure if you know this college youtube and lack of sleep it pretty much requires coffee so the fact that i could be drinking my very own now and you guys can as well is just ridiculously awesome and on top of it all i actually uh, it's gonna be really awesome because i have a cold brew machine or i guess like this kind of cold brew thing where you can kind of like cold brew coffee because i at least personally i like cold coffee a little bit better i don't mind hot coffee but i've definitely always been a cold type of dude and uh well let me just say that bad boy is going to be stocked and filled to the brim with this stuff so if you guys love coffee or even if you just want a mug because the mug turned out really cool it's like uh it's i just love it because like it's a shotgun but instead of shooting out shots it's uh well shooting out coffee beans so a little bit of coffee rain i suppose or shotgun shotgun rain bean rain coffee rain whatever you might want to call it but those are just some of the big announcements i want to go in and recap a little bit like i said i go over them a little bit more in depth in that 600k special not to mention answering a bunch of your guys's questions featuring a bunch of your guys's questions from a variety of videos that we did go and pull that from so it might be something you guys are interested in a lot of different types of questions some about last day on earth some about the channel some about other games some about irl random shenanigans so just thought you should know but did want to say the big stuff and the stuff that there will be links towards is the launch of this ridiculously high quality and dope merch alongside the coffee mugs and the coffee and dude i just can't wait because i i need a mug man i do not have any good mugs i honestly just don't have any drinking receptacles i'm gonna be filling this mug up with everything man soda water iced tea whatever you call it is gonna be fulfilling my needs because i'm a lad who loves tea and who loves coffee so what can i say i just love brewing that type of stuff man so this mug is going gonna be serving me good just like this raid so far is serving us rather nicely we've gotten quite some pretty decent things from it although i think we may have gotten the best already i don't quote me on that but it appears that we have potentially gone through the best of the goods we do still have a bunch of chests to break into but these are looking a wee bit on the emptier side and i do not like this this makes me a little bit sad camper and it continues to make me sad camper i don't like being sad camper happy camper better yes yes okay so let's work towards making a happier camper let's do this comrades work together for a happier tomorrow but speaking of tomorrow tomorrow is actually the first day and oh boy am i dreading it just like i'm dreading the fact that the big one is about to appear but tomorrow is the first day of my finals in the morning i got my first one to knock out then after that either thursday or friday is my next one because that one i can actually schedule between a couple of those days so i'm still not 100 percent sure which day i will be doing it but uh, long story short starting tomorrow the grind begins so wish me luck with that guys and gals if you guys are going through finals or anything important going on best of luck to you guys with that wishing you all nothing but the most fan for fantastic chug through it ace it do wonderful and then afterwards go ahead and bask in some hopefully fan for fantastic and chill times but all right we got to focus up here we got some big mama stuff that uh, we got some big mama drama all right because there are five chests remaining 
that we need to go ahead and soften up and we got to try and get into all of them including actually i kind of want to open up this and potentially open up this over here while the big one very angrily uh will chases us around and attempts to kill us now, attempted murder is usually a crime, but we live in the lawless land where, well, I'm pretty sure the big one's like the big kahuna. I think he literally makes the laws around here, because if he wanted to attack our base, he would attack it and just poop on us. No questions asked. Uh, so I don't think we're going to blow through all of our hatchets, so I'll just kind of have this one chill in there to kind of save with. The problem about this base is that there's no doghouse or anything for us to actually go and retreat to, unless, was there one on the inside of the base that I just didn't notice? Because I'm used to the doghouses being outside. Possiblemente? Maybe, maybe. Also, how long we got until that next one? About a minute 50. So after this raid, we'll go and commence that abandoned house shenanigans as well. We'll run straight over there and go and double dip with today's raid and shenanigans. But yeah, not, nothing on the exterior. So I, unless I'm going crazy and or this man has an invisible doghouse for his invisible dogs, I, I don't think that he's got that. So without further ado, we gotta go and hello. Okay, I could go and grab some of these things over here. Don't mind me just getting hatches for the next forever. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, hold on. Here's the big one we gotta deal with now. God dang it, not looking forward to this. Uh, Maybe we could. One thing I wanna do over here is definitely, no, not shoot the big one, shoot the abominations. Okay, this ain't going well. Whoop, 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 whoop. You know what we might be able to do actually? Why don't we try run around a little bit, make sure we could potentially out juke this guy. Uh, what I am oh we might be able to play some games with them and have them like running around like run to the outside when we're or like run to the inside when we're on the outside that type of jazz but long story short I'm trying to get the toxic abominations to die really quickly that would make my life easy uh, do you want to run on the other side of this maybe oh beautiful and this will give us a little bit of a breather we could get him stuck on the other side and it, whoop poopity scoop take that boy we can take out the toxic abomination and then we can start running around and hopefully we'll be able to out juke this guy uh we broke into a chest with a lot of stuff i'd like to capitalize on stuff so we are going to capitalize on said stuff whoop, 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 whoop. let's go and pick up a couple of those and actually let's see if we can't maybe get him to run to the other side of one of these that's what i'm hoping like maybe 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 baby call me maybe hello please you want to call me maybe there big one no I, I don't think he wants to call me maybe he wants to definitely not call me at all oh beautiful 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 that's what i like to see he's going to run over here and i'm gonna run my patoots over here because we still got a couple more chests to break into what we got over here oh baby oh baby oh baby i'm gonna pick that up thank you for the ak he had a ton of armor in there that i wish we broke into a little bit earlier that would have been a bit more ideal but maybe we could get him to run to the other side of one of these again. Come on, baby. Come on. You you were you was running to the other side earlier. I know that you want to. I I don't think that he wants to, guys. He is not about it. God dang it. Um, well, he's about to start doing a lot more damage than I'm prepared to deal with. Because I like when he doesn't like do enough damage to one hitter quitter us. And that's about to start happening so guys unfortunately i think we are going to need to call it there at least we got a huge stockpile of hatchets but unfortunately that was just not an ideal base to do like big one tricks with or anything we couldn't even do like the motorcycle glitch or anything because well it was like a very small portion of a base but we still walked out of there with the best stuff we recovered our ak we got a set of swat armor but it does suck because that last box we opened up looked like it had some promise so a little bit unfortunate there but we got this abandoned house so you guys can see that it appears to be three bucks again so the way that abandoned houses appear to be working is that after we purchase it yet again it appears that these will be appearing every 24 hours the first one you get is free after that they appear to be costing three bucks a pop from what we saw the first one by far and away appears to be the best so don't necessarily buy the next one thinking it's going to be as good as the first one over here what we're actually doing on the channel is showcasing to you guys just how good each and every one of them are because as you guys can see we showed off the day two we showed off day one so hopefully by us doing this we can kind of showcase if it is worth investing into future abandoned houses because it might not necessarily be as dope as first meets the eye but we got some stuff that we got to go ahead and put away so i will talk to y'all gotta get the zombie horde to despawn as 
as well. If there's ever a zombie horde attack in your base, in the midst of an attack, you enter your base, you leave it, and what you know? Ooh, hello. And what you know? Uh, this over here is happening, so we ain't got to worry about that zombie horde for now, but I'm going to go put this stuff away and go on an abandoned raid. <laughs> and I don't know if y'all can see, but we are prepared for abandoned house raiding season. We got 10 medkits, so in case we find some medkits, we could toss them in there, because usually there's not too many enemies at these types of events. We got plenty of weaponry, plenty of hatchetry, and plenty of adventure ready and awaiting us. We are back up to four skulls as well, meaning that we are in prime revenge raid territory to go ahead and continue our free raiding spree, so long as we keep our base a little bit prepared prepared and oh a couple of things we might want to visit but first and foremost we got an abandoned house that we'd like to visit and we are going to visit exactly that but for real make sure that you guys have a notification bell hit as well to stay in the loop oh hold up hold up these walls saw a terrible story the guys living here were getting on with raiders pretty well for a long time they had common business good relationship and quite a good life until one day they decide to cheat raiders and some nice deals. You have one try, yatta yatta, that stuff's usually the same. Onwards to victory and beyond we go. But as I was saying, make sure the notification bell is hit. It's a great way to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of less down earth information like the oozy info that dropped today that we are constantly staying in the loop on. Not to mention, and oh, hello. Fast spider, goodbye, fast spider. Hello, semi decent armor. But as soon as that info comes out, not only are we staying up to date with that jazz always, but is this seriously it? Okay, no, there's different parts. There's more. There's more houses. It's not just one house. Because I was about to say, oh mama, something nasty happened here. There's dead dudes in a wheelbarrow. This is some. Uh, this is some sort of methodical serial killer type of vibe, man. Ain't never seen nothing like this. But we also got some stuff to go in and break into. And after I break open this, I actually wonder if there's. Uh, is there gonna be more? Oh, hold on. We got a dude running after us. Hello, fast biter. Goodbye, fast biter. Okay, he's been taken care of. Is there more? Or is this the only two? Uh, only two houses slash bases that we got to offer. I think that's the only two. I think that is where the good stuff is gonna be. So that's gonna be interesting. And uh, yeah. Without further ado, let's begin the break and scream. That notification bell is going to be a great way to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of information. And not just that, as soon as that info does come out, we aren't only covering it and spreading it to your eyes and ears, but also we're going to be breaking it down and adding in other information that we've gotten in the past to give you the most complete look at what these information tidbits are telling us. And let's freaking go! Something semi-useful, that's what I like to see, but this is what I think the real goods will be. And let's go and take down the fast biter really quickly. Show me what you got. Hopefully the other house has some good stuff, because I feel like these abandoned house raids are actually getting worse with each house. Like, maybe there's still some redemption in this house, but... um. Well, it, the, the last raid gave us a VSS, at least. The first one gave us an Elite Puppy and a C4. This one is... Wow. Yeah, guys. If I had to tell you anything, just take that first raid for free and never do these abandoned houses again. Unless this chest over here has a miracle within it. It's been pretty pooptastic so far. Wow. Yeah. Don't be doing these abandoned houses. That first free one is by far and away the best one that you guys are going to get. Which is kind of... I, I'm happy that at least the free one's the best so everyone gets it. But that kind of sucks because the first one that's free gives people an idea that, yo, these abandoned houses are going to be hype. And then at least the next two... Like, the, the one... Hello, what's up, fast biter? Come on, I'm trying to tell a story here. Like, the one right after that at least gives us a VSS and a copper bar, but... Ah... Uh, like, we got some melee weapons here or there. We got a pistol, so, like... Some okay things, but... Ah, uh, that, that is... Yikes. I think that's the only way I can really describe that. I'd break their... I'd, you know what? I'm, I'm going to take out my frustrations. I'm breaking your beds, boys. I hope you aren't planning on coming back because you ain't going to have a place to sleep. I'm the bed vandal, leaving you without a place to lie at night. How will you ever sleep knowing I'm on the loose, ready to break that which you lie upon? And let's go ahead and break this dude's life with a single bullet because that was a critical. Breaking your couch, too. You ain't sleeping on the couch either, boy. You get nothing. 
nada at all, but we didn't really get anything either, so... <laughs> Dang, man. I can't believe that. Like, these houses, unless, like, like I'm saying, I'm going to keep on doing these. I don't mind dropping dollar dues to showcase to you guys what they have, so then you guys could kind of weigh the decision and be like, oh, this is worth it. Oh, this isn't worth it. And I, at least so far, it doesn't seem like they're being worth it. And there goes the last hatchet. I know we could still break his sewing table. I, I didn't come here to raid cloth, my dude. I came here for bigger and better things. I got neither of those. I really didn't. So uh, let's go to that chopper event because that chopper event's already going to give us something better than what we got from here. And uh, I, I will take that, but we'll see what tomorrow's abandoned house has. We'll make sure to stay in the loop on that. Oh, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get the driver to that rest stop, boy. I don't want to be missing this. That was a little bit of a buzzer beater. A little bit of a close call. We also got a gas station pit stop to be doing next time, too. So we got that to look forward to. But that notification bell is a great way to stay up to date with that info, like I was saying. Not just that, it is also a great way to stay up to date with all the updates as soon as they come out. We're going to be covering them. We're going to be showing them off. And even sometimes new events like the abandoned houses, we're going to be showing those off, too. And showing to you guys, like, hey, is it worth it? Is it not? And hopefully giving you an opportunity to uh, know if something might be worthwhile to look into into and hopefully my experiments and dollar dues bleeding out of my wallets are saving you guys some dollar dues out of yours because it's that oh baby oh they are not happy campers no 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 goodbye to you survivor hello how you doing there big boy it's okay i got an ak with your name on it there you go he's dead at least that means we don't need to deal with no zombies and uh, we got plenty of loot to take which i am more than happy to do because the loot from here is already going to be better than what we were just used to at least what we got out of there so let's go and pick up a couple of these things anything good on this guy eh, not so much baseball bat a couple of other things i'll put some stuff away into our chopper so we hopefully get a little bit more room as well but uh yeah the notification bell is a great way for the info for the updates ah! for starvation too apparently actually no my videos will not feed you they will not keep you not hungry i'm sorry to say i wish they could because then i could solve world hunger and potentially have more subscribers than pewdiepie like that that'd be a pretty op youtube power if my videos could feed people i'm just saying i'm pretty sure i'd have like billions of subscribers here we take over the world with our fan freaking tasticness feeling not feeling keeping them bellies full feeling them bellies full that just that just sounds weird man that is an odd combination of words that do not belong together but let's go on and continue grabbing these things uh let's see what you had because i think he uh, he's got some swat stuff over there we could cop and the notification bell is a great way to stay up to date with every single video y'all can turn on for that weekly giveaway and all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well but for real i'm looking forward to what y'all got to say about the uzi because it is awesome to see another weapon in the works that we're going to be checking out low damage high fire rate five mods hello marvelous pantalones but uh, that thing's shaping up to be interesting and between all of the ones that we've been seeing i seriously think a weapons update is within the works let's freaking go double let's freaking go the loot just gets better and that's what i like to see i will drink this water in the taste of victory and i'll actually be right back i'm gonna go dump this gas over into our chopper and see what that has but dude it's just gonna be nice to get some weapon variety and i think i i got a feeling that these weapons like maybe they're preparing for the atv swamp update that'll be adding in like an entirely new section new areas new resources even if you guys don't know that uh update if i could just find a weapon or something here to demonstrate we'll be adding in ash planks and titanium bars as of now at least that's what it is shaping up to be doing so potentially with the additions of those these new weapons will uh kind of slot in nicely for some of that massive new content that if so dude it, it appears that they're kind of ramping up and getting ready for a big boy of an update and i like updates when they are big boys those are those are good updates jess jess okay let's go and pick that up and then i i'm pretty good with what we got here i think we're walking out of here relatively happy campers let's dipski doodle see if there's maybe like an airdrop event we could run over to super lickety split there might have been one that popped up i feel like yes sir we got one right over there so let's drive on over see what that's got and uh yikes we got to get some food up in this belly don't we 
I think that we do. But like I'm saying, looking forward to that Uzi. I'm hyped for it. It's awesome to see that that's in the works. And hopefully the fact that they said is coming soon and they're beginning to tease. And we've seen multiple weapons like that, like n entirely new weapons being teased as of late. Could be meaning that something even bigger is in the works. But that Uzi is looking dope. Can't wait to hear what y'all got to say. And again, reminder about the brand new merch and many awesome announcements that were dropped off and popped off today. I don't know, man. It's been a good day, okay? Because first off, I didn't have a final today, so that's nice, but that's just kind of more of a thing about tomorrow. And ooh, vey, I just realized, get back here, dear. I gotta kill one of you. I gotta eat your meat really quickly so I can have enough food to open this chest up really quick. Because <laughs> we can't continue the opening animation on an empty belly. So let's see what we get from here. Hopefully something semi-decent. And let's freaking go. That's a little bit better than semi-decent. That's super decent, baby. I'll go ahead and cop that. Use up a bandage. Hello to you. Goodbye to... I guess we'll get rid of the one flash drive and pick those up. Take all the stack, anything that we can, and start bringing today to an end with our eventful raids. Awesome look at the Uzi and much hype looking forward that I am definitely looking forward to. Best of luck to you guys and gals. Again, the Chopper Gas Tank and join the Chopper Squadron. Best of luck breeding your pup. Again, the true friend perk, leveling up your own perks and skills, not to mention find the very best blueprints and building out the very best attachments for the very best weapons that you got. Best of luck building up your base going on in the dopest of raids defeating all the bosses that the game has to throw at you getting past the multiplayer wall and most important of all having yourselves an absolutely fabric fantastic time all throughout not to mention best of luck in that 25 dollar i do such play store gift card giveaway and can't wait to hear what y'all gotta say about the uzi and potentially other things i'd love to hear about anything from y'all but that's gonna do it for me thank you guys a whole ton for watching have an awesome one and i'll talk to you next one see you